It's Timothy Kraskin kicking with Kraskis. Uh, we got back from Europe late last night. Uh, it's April 30th, uh, 2024. Uh, uh, this is a quick unedited YouTube video to show off my quick souvenir, uh, my souvenirs. Uh, got a bicycle and I love to ride bikes in Amsterdam so I had to get I had to get a, a, a bicycle plate uh, in Paris I got these coasters uh, that's some simple things I could put in a bag because my uh, you know not a lot of wood in the bags the way I packed it you know a lot of clothes uh, got a postcard um, I didn't get anything from London. I wanted to get something at the uh, uh, at the Anne Frank Museum, but I didn't have a chance to. And it was pouring down rain by the time I got to the museum. I also got this Amsterdam T-shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, let me lay it down. Isn't that a nice T-shirt? Oh yeah, it is. I like the two X and then the stitching. The stitching is really nice on it. And, uh, so that's, that's souvenirs. Uh, so, I want to give a shout out to Pook, uh, Sarah, uh, who are on the, uh, Behind us on the airplane coming back. I hope they made it through uh to the TSA okay when I got on the next plane they were they were traveling into Tennessee. They flew all the way into Houston and then they were traveling to Tennessee. Uh doing a USA vacation. They were they were from the Netherlands. Um what a nice people uh, we chatted with. Uh, shout out to all the friends that I made and all the people that were really kind to me. The guy that waved to me from the window in, in Paris, the, the two guys in London <clears throat> who were at the front desk that listened to my stories. There wasn't a lot of people checking in late at night and I was up and I told them uh, just a few sea stories and talking about my martial arts journey. Uh, they... Uh, we got uh, an email exchange on that one. Uh, so, the girl that was on the one train, uh, I have to go forward on the train. I can't go backwards. And I, I think we only had a backwards seat. And we got to switch, got to switch a, 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 an open seat. And, uh, that was a nice conversation. Um, so shout out to all the people that were like really kind. All right. Oh yeah, and this the other souvenir. This this of uh, the Paris one uh, is the uh, Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower figurine for the bookshelf. Uh, geez. What do you think of, of Europe, Joe? It was good. I had a good time, despite yeah. being sick. Yeah, she got she got sick. Uh, most in Devonshire, Devonshire was like freezing cold, um, very freezing cold. But we did do a lot of the things on our checklist, but not everything, All right? But I, uh, I would have to say the absolute highlight was when I got to see the Anne Frank house. Uh, the outside of it, but it was pouring down rain by the time I got there. Uh, I didn't get there until after we saw the um, tulips. And that was a five hour trip total uh, to do, the, do that tulip uh, uh, festival thing with the tulip gardens. Um, so, wow, Be tulips are beautiful. Uh, and by the time I got back, it was. Uh, pouring down rain I made sure Joe got back to the hotel 
Uh, this was in Amsterdam, of course. Uh, I mean, so Joe got back to the hotel in Amsterdam, and then I went out and saw the Anne Frank house, except the place that the tulips were at was not Amsterdam. It was this town right here, uh, Kuchet Hallman, all right? Uh, and that was like uh, uh, over an hour ride on a bus. Um, all right, uh, but London, we did see the hop on, hop off. We got to see a lot. Um, and then we got to do the Thames River thing. Wasn't too, too bad in London. Uh, cloudy, a uh, little bit of rain, but not as cold as Paris. Paris was uh, cold, and Devonshire was even colder. Um, uh, Paris, we did do all the stuff we wanted to see. Uh, we did get into the Louvre. Uh, we did uh, see the outside of the cathedral. And we did uh, see the uh, Eiffel Tower. Uh, and then uh, Devinger. Uh, Jill got to do a little bit of things with me, but she was mostly in the room because she wasn't feeling well. Uh, so I went out and took a lot of pictures of Devinger. You're going to see it on the video. Uh, give me some time to make the video, guys. So it's going to be uh, on Wednesday, probably posted by Wednesday. That's my goal. So it will be posted in May. So this is the weekend now. Uh, but uh, give me some time to work on the video. Plus, we got to do all the land stuff out here. A lot of the weeds grew and... Uh, Got a lot of things to to work on out here on on our uh, on our land. Uh, the airport uh, coming back was a debacle. Um, I got treated like a criminal because I had a compass of all things a compass in my bag. So they dumped my entire bag, put it on uh, separately, scanned each one of my clothing items, looking for illegal coins. I never heard of some, no such thing. Not even the leader that was pushing me in the wheelchair heard of any such thing. And if, even if I had a coin, uh, at first he said, well, what, do you have coins? I said, yeah. Okay, I had some coins in my, uh, in my shoulder bag. And I said, I might have a few loose coins in there. But I was like, well, how am I getting held up for coins? And he was talking about illegal coins. Never heard of any illegal coins. Now, if you have a certain amount of money uh, in, in, in currency, uh, you're not allowed to come in like over $10,000. If you have like uh, 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 gold coins or something like that, that's uh, in a certain amount of currency, you, 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 uh, and then that's illegal. But uh, uh, the think of the compass is an illegal coin? And they found the compass, and then I'm like, oh, is there any hidden pouches in here? And blah, 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 blah. And I, what the hell? Uh, I'm telling you, TSA is getting dumb. They're extremely dumb. Um, I hope the two girls that was on, uh, that was uh, behind me on the plane, didn't have any trouble uh, like I did uh, going through the TSA. Uh, like I said, I come back to the States and I get treated like a criminal. Uh, and don't even get me started about the um, <clears throat> guy that left my wife behind uh, uh, when we got on that uh, uh, that cart with all the people on and the, the handicap section and you get on the cart. Uh, she could just walk. I ended up jumping off the cart and going to uh, walk, walk with my wife. And I said, dude, that's my wife. And he goes, what the F do you want me to do about it? So, of course, I am going to write a real uh, strongly worded uh, letter to United Airlines uh, because uh, no customer should be treated that badly. Um, I went over the nine minutes. Um, but anyway, that was the uh, end of, 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 of that. No, it made it back. <laughs> <laughs> we had to get our truck out. 
and uh, I had burger. We had a burger from the airport that was ice cold. By the time he landed uh, from uh, from uh, Houston to El Paso, I fell asleep on that plane. Ice cold burger that I ate on the way home, and then we got home a little after ten ish. Fell asleep on you know ten thirty ish. Was listening to ASMR and. Uh, then I did wake up early, watched a few videos on YouTube, and and uh, that was uh, pretty much it. Uh, uh, we got got the land to get done, and all these different things. And then after that, because um, I'm gonna be working on that video, get it posted to you guys by Wednesday. And also a shout out to those two Polish girls that cheered me up when I lost uh, my one museum ticket. Um, I was still able to get into the Anne Frank uh, House Museum, and so it was pouring rain that day. Um, and that was it. That was our the highlights, pretty much, of our Euro trip. European tour, Euro trip, whatever you want to call it. Um, Shoot, I could have made my own movie about it. Yeah, unlike those comedies you see on TV, uh, this was reality Europe. Reality, it rained a lot, and it, it was cold. But uh, all in all, we had a great time. And a shout out to those two girls again uh, that was behind me, Pook and Sarah. Uh, safe travels and have a fun uh, holiday in the states. And I hope you hope you enjoy our country, uh, my uh, our country. And maybe I'll be back in Holland one day. <laughs>